um, this, I had a 56 year old female with history of PEs, DVTs on Eliquis, presented with epigastric pain, elevated liver tests, and elevated white count, suspicious for cholangitis. She had had a previous uh, gallbladder. And so uh, the plan was to initially just go in, put a stent, get her off the, you know, decompress her bile duct, uh, and then come back at a later date to actually get the stone out. So whenever I went, got down to the ampulla, there was free flowing pus um, coming out of the ampulla before any instrumentation. Upon cannulation, uh, more pus and a little bit of debris. Um, she did not endorse a prior ERCP, um, but there was evidence of a previous sphincterotomy. I could see the stone on cholangiogram. Uh, not huge stone, but about eight, nine millimeters. And I, it was a little snug to get through the ampulla. Um, this is one that I could get the balloon above. I had it right at the ampullary orifice. It was starting to come out. I put a little too much pressure um, and kind of the put uh, the scope went through the wall opposite of the ampulla. Unfortunately, I saw a mesentery, a vessel, and something else that I pray I don't have to see again. Um, at that point, I ended up putting in a stent while my tech went and grabbed the upper endoscope, and I applied the padlock to fix the defect. Um, the picture on the left, um, you can see the stent coming out of the ampulla. Uh, the over-the-scope clip is already in place, and this one uh, we were not really in the video taping kind of mode right here, and things kind of got a little urgent real quick. Um, you can see the perforation, um, and the arrows on the left kind of outline it. You can see that we have good, healthy tissue all around. Um, despite this patient being on Eliquis, um, she did very well after this procedure. I put on antibiotics for a couple of days. And then actually this picture on the right is about six weeks later. I uh, came in uh, to remove the stent and remove any of further stones and biliary debris once she was off of the eloquist. Um, so it's very well healed up. Um, she did well. She was, like I said, despite that size of that perforation and putting a duodenoscope straight through the duodenal wall, which, like I said, I'm willing to admit my mistakes. Don't tell my wife. Um, this patient did extremely well uh, and had no, no issues after the procedure, really no significant pain. And like I said, sent her on a brief course of antibiotics and did well. So from my standpoint, you know, having these devices available to do certain advanced things or do things you may not feel comfortable with may not be in everybody's uh, repertoire, but being able to fix a perforation or fix something that you caused and assure the patient, you know, this is taken care of, you're not going to need surgery. We were able to fix it too, during the procedure. Um, that patient was very, very grateful. And, you know, at that point had good rapport and she even came back, like I said, for the repeat ERCP and she did extremely well with no issues after that. So from my standpoint, that was a very nice save. Um, and, something I was very happy for myself, but more importantly for the patient that no further operations or any significant bleeding or issues needed to be um, taken care of.